All right, let's do it. Hello once again, people of the internet, Halo fans and followers, nation worldwide. This is Simon and Jonathan from the SS Motion in its former glory days. Glory days, glory days, glory. Glory to the kings. There were good days, there were good days. There were some good days, there were some cold days, but there were some good days. So yeah, this is Jonathan Simon from Halo Mega Bloks worldwide and wherever else you want to find us. And we're talking today about this. Boom. A one-of-a-kind prototype set. It's the only one in the world. We're going to break down the story. It's a pretty interesting one. And also, our theories of why this set never got released and other things about it. Because, yeah, I think this is the only one on the internet. This is the only one in the world. Yeah, I mean, this was, like, the first thing. I remember, like, when we first met, I came into your room. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the hell is that? Yeah. It, like, I, I hadn't seen it. I didn't know what the hell it was. This was as I was joining the SS Motion, so mm -hmm. I had no idea. Yeah, and it's been it's been a, a trade secret for many years, but now uh, I've, I'm far behind the Mega Bloks days. Well, I kind of back into them now, but I thought I'd shed light on it. I sort of went over it in my collection video, so you can check that out. It's a really good full-scale tour of my collection. But uh, yeah, let's break this down. This is the Last Man Standing Pack Two, or is it? Because a very different set release. Um, first of all, it's got a white background. It says Xbox 360 and Mega trademark and then it says uh, halo the ultimate collector series which was the it was only the tagline uh for the first like they did halo wars and then i think after like a year they started calling it halo the ultimate collector series yeah and that's but they dropped the name like 2012 and mm. then it changed they just got rid of it all right so this is number two the first last man standing pack came out in 2013 um and then the second one in about 2015 yeah uh it's actually more 2014 uh when the sp spartans came in um, it was meant to come out 2014 in mm -hmm. the fall. It just got massively delayed. No mm -hmm. one knew where it was. Everyone was spamming Mega Box at the time, uh, going, "What the hell is it?" They kept saying it's released. No one ever found it till about the year later, 2015. Uh, it showed up in an American discount chain as well, mm. so it was like super cheap. People thought it was amazingly rare, so they just bought, bought the hell out of it in the end. Yeah. Uh, so we're we're here to debunk this this very obscure section of the internet that's been wondering about this ever since it happened. Uh, yeah, the Last Man Standing two pack was delayed by a year. Now this one is called the Last Man Standing pack two. Uh, you can see that there's five uh, figures on there. You'll notice that they're non super articulated. Uh, now super super articulation came in in 2014. Yeah, yeah? that's right. Yeah. Um, and it was it revolutionised everything. It changed the way Mega Blocks were made. And here you can see that the prototypes are super articulated. So our theory is that they were planning to release this set that never got released. None of these figures ever came out. They were planning to release it, but then they got a call from the head office saying that the super articulation was the new place to go, the new thing. So they scrapped the design for these five figures and replaced them with, these are not the eventual figures that made it into the set. These are just placeholders. But you can see that there's a little uh, gap here where we think one of the Spartan heads would have gone uh, for the Last Man Standing Zombie Pack 2 and they just kept this design from the second one when they were dubbing in the prototype because it looks pretty finished right like that looks yeah. like box art essentially yeah it's definitely finished the whole front's completely done yeah uh, I think literally it is that they they redesigned it last minute and I, I honestly don't think they told the distribution team because mm. they kept telling everyone oh it's about you should be able to go to Walmart wherever and buy this and it just wasn't there I don't think the designers went, oh, hey guys, we're not sending this out yet, we're mm. doing an upgrade. It's also funny that it has three blue energy swords and one clear, and then, yeah, it's got a shotgun there. But on the picture, it shows the larger shotgun, which is also a great yeah. strange thing. Blast from the um, past there as well. Let's figure out why why this came into my hands. So uh, back in 2014, when we were about to do Blocks Fest, 2014, we were invited to Mega Block Studio to discuss our plans at their head office in Oxford, UK. It was a pretty cool business trip, me, Sam and Craig, and when we arrived there we got a tour of their office, we got to see all the prototypes for the next year of Mega Blocks. We had to hold a lot of company secrets for the next year. And what we also saw, which was pretty cool while we were there, was uh, Mega Blocks showed a video of Blocks Fest to all new investors uh, to sort of demonstrate their commitment to the community. When we were leaving they said, would you like anything from the warehouse? Which we said, absolutely we would. Of course, would. you're not going to say no to that. Of course not, no, of course not. Mega Blocks didn't actually have that much from that year's line in the warehouse, it was all the previous years. They gave Sam the Last Man Standing Zombie Pack 1, they gave Craig, I think like a Banshee or something, and they gave me this. Now, 
I've never known if they intended to give me a prototype or not. Mm -hmm. I've never known if they actually intended to do that or they just pulled some random sets from the warehouse very quickly because they went into the warehouse and they got this so like either it was intentional and they you know they were giving us a prototype as, sure. as, as a thank you but once I got out of the office I released a picture of it and I immediately got a cease and desist saying you shouldn't like you shouldn't be posting about that so I never really figured out if they were intended to give me or not but regardless you know I'll, I'll, I'll count it as a nice gesture it's a, it's a uh, pretty cool a little test. piece of history could have been a test and you failed it a by test? posting damn the it. picture damn it uh, I failed the test pretty good trip though uh, there's an old video R Roxford Adventure uh, which kind of details the, the atrocious living conditions we had uh, during that stay. Pretty good trip. Yeah, this, this shed some light on a, a Halo mystery that nobody was asking about, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in a way, yeah. to be fair, people did ask. Like every time this set comes out, whether it's Blocks Fest or whatever, that's true. You always had kids asking you what Watch it was. Watch this, Mr. Simon. And now they know. Yeah, glow in the dark. Lechpeng <laughs> im Dunkelni. Dunkeln. Might want to work on your accent. Though. I might do. I might do. This was another video from uh, Jonathan and Simon from whatever the channel's called. This video was sponsored by Halo Collector, the number one Halo community on the internet. Go and check it out on facebook.com slash Halo Collector. Hope you're having a pleasant day. Uh, yeah, grunt out. Woo!